Barb, we got this great trunk show from Rowan, um, and we want to show it to everybody. Uh, so this is like a little sampling of garments from Rowan Magazine 68, um, and also from some of the publications that came out at the same time. Right. Right? That's right. We're just so excited because, you know, these garments are all hand knit mm -hmm. out of the book. I mean, like, and we've got them right here to try on and to show everybody. So yeah, we and just wanted to go through them and give you a sense of what we got. And to feel. Barb's been going on and on about you yes. know, getting sense of vision for, uh, for our podcast, but uh, we can't do that, but we can tell you what it feels like. So right. let's start with what I'm wearing here, Barb. This sure. is a super, super thick and gorgeous scarf. It is. This is called Bracken. And it was designed by Erica Knight nice. for Rowan Magazine 68. It was part of her home series. Mm -hmm. And it's done out of felted tweed. There's about five, four or five colors of felted tweed. And that's on the left, on your left hand side of your scarf is the felted tweed. Okay. And then on the right hand side, about halfway through, she stops and she uses a different yarn. She uses Alpaca Classic. This is so clever. So this scarf is um, comforting. You know, it's like a weighted scarf. You know, the whole weighted blanket thing. This is like mm -hmm. a weighted scarf. You can wear this as a shawl. You can wear it as a blanket in your house. And we're uh, using Alpaca Classic and Rowan Felted Tweed as the two yarns for this one. Um, so this just feels warm and cozy and amazing mm -hmm. on the back of my neck. Yeah. I, I can just, like, it's radiating warmth. For yeah. Me. It's really nice. It's it's such a cozy scarf. Imagine it, too, as a blanket. You could make it twice as wide, mm. and you could do a blanket out of it. It's it's really generous and wide as it is. But and it looks like it's in a rib stitch, Barb. Look at that. I know. Look at that stretch on it. That's amazing. So uh, I think this is done in a rib stitch, which makes it thicker as well. We could look in the book. Yeah, uh, I love this. And so you know, if you've got if you've got leftovers after your project, this is certainly one way that you could use them up. Mm -hmm. um, Erica's all all about that. You know, using is. up ends and bits and pieces. She does all sorts of creative things like yep. stripes or duplicate stitch. And so here's like an alpaca classic stripe in the felted tweed section. You can just sort of tell a little bit of the textural difference in it. But really, you know, and there's a little, it's a slight difference in terms of the uh, thickness of it. Um, but wow, does it ever go nice together? I love this bright pink stripe in here. Okay. Let's move on to this one. This mm -hmm. is Plume. I recognize this one because you've been wearing your plume. That's right. Here we're, forever. we're Plume Twins. <laughs> this was such a fun to knit uh, piece as well because it was it's done out of Alpaca Soft DK. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if this again, if you love knitting every single stitch with beautiful yarn, this is a beautiful yarn. Yeah. It feels a lot like cashmere. It's so soft. It's gorgeous. And the color work section in here makes such a pretty pattern. It does. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that you picked the two colors that you have because I would love to do this again using just those two shades. That yeah. charcoal gray and the bright pink would be so pretty in this color work. Right? Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, I mean, you can't stop stroking this yarn. Mm -hmm. Seriously, it is that soft. And when you're wearing it, it just feels like a hug. Yes. It's just so yeah. nice and soft and warm. How long did this one take you to knit, Barb? I, I actually, I had it knit up probably in a week and a half or two weeks because I couldn't put it down. Right. You know, you're following a chart and you're working from the bottom up. So this part, when you get up to here, it's like you've got less stitches and it's just such simple knitting. It goes really, really quick. So how many balls of yarn would somebody need for this project? Okay, well, you need five of the gray and two of the pink Okay. or, or the light gray. And are there yeah. like a number of sizes, two or three sizes? There's person? two sizes, okay. but they both use the same amount of yarn. Nice. Yeah, nice. so I think it's a case where, you know, you wouldn't have any left with the larger size, but right. you'd have three quarters of a ball left of one maybe with the smaller right. size yeah. yeah oh perfect okay let's talk about these gloves that are sitting up here oh. on the uh, on this mannequin here because okay. oh let me grab this yarn too 
Okay. Okay, so this is pure cashmere from Rowan, and this is from Todd and Duncan. We're going to be sharing some videos too. Rowan has done a lot of work in in photographing oh. this amazing mill that makes cashmere out of Scotland. So they, I think, make a lot of fabric, but Rowan went to them last year and said, would you make us cashmere yarn? And it's something new for them. They are, have done an amazing job. Will you look at that red mm -hmm. shade? Yeah. Okay, I definitely want to make a pair of mittens. Yeah, so this is, a, this is a one skein project. Yeah. A pair of fingerless gloves. These feel so nice. Oh, I know. Oh, well, hands. remember oh. when we saw um, Lisa Richardson wearing that hoodie from mm -hmm. the Pure Cashmere book? Yes. She told us she hardly took that thing off. <laughs> and you can see why. Mm -hmm. um, I won't get too close, but mm -hmm. oh my God, 100% cashmere? Yes, mm -hmm. sign me up. It's yeah. expensive. It is, but you know what? You're going to have them forever. Yes. And um, But she told us too that it doesn't pill um, and right. that they're, you know, they're... They're just so cozy. Yeah, I can't. I can't tell you how cozy these are. And I've, then I've saved nice. thousands of dollars this year, Cynthia, <laughs> because I haven't gone on any true trips. That's true. Yeah. So I'm investing in cashmere. Take a trip to Scotland with this one. Yeah. I like how these gloves too have this nice long wrist on them because mm -hmm. um, when you're wearing fingerless gloves, that's sort of like the secret to keeping your hands warm is to keep your wrist warm yeah so if your wrist is warm then you, you the blood is going to your fingertips and keeping them warm as well and perfect okay. keyboarding right you can yeah. still your fingers are still free you can text with your phone right. or keyboard and yeah. stay nice and warm and cozy Plus, you can tell i haven't had a manicure but don't my don't my hands look elegant anyway <laughs> There's so. also, these are called the glory mitts, and there's also a hat, okay. I just wanted to mention, that goes with it, and it's one ball as well. Well, I, I, may, not, I may not want to take those off, but I, I'll put them down here for a minute, and then tell me about this one. Oh. We are so in love with this okay. sweater. We're smitten with this sweater. It's yes. called Meller's Stain. It's in Rowan Magazine, book 68. And it is done with five different shades of alpaca classic. So we're, we're getting uh, Rowan to let us know what they have in stock because we want to put kits together with this. This is shown in sort of a deep um, um, golds, burgundies, uh, reds, and wines shade. But we think it would look super in blues uh, and or um, a neutral palette, maybe mm -hmm. a gray with a slight uh, amount of, there's some beautiful new shades that have come in from Rowan. So we're going to look at them all and put together kits. Yeah. But this, I would, I would love to do this in kind of like a white to navy palette with mm -hmm. a light gray on top. I think that would look really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, talk about how it feels, Cynthia, because... This, I, I can't get over this yarn. First of yeah. all, it's a, it's such an economical yarn. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, this is the um, Alpaca Classic. Uh, so you get these, you, you get this um, very lightweight yarn um, that knits up uh, fast and it's so soft. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be super warm as well. You know that the... the um, there's a lot of halo on these stitches, so you're going to get a lot of insulation in here. At the same time, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's, I think, 40% cotton in yeah. this yarn. So it yeah. has a cool coolness to it, too, that you wouldn't find uh, in a normal mohair or uh, wool. Right. It's got a really interesting weight to it too with the cotton. Yeah, so yeah, you're absolutely right, Barb. 57% alpaca, 43% cotton. Right. Yeah, and it's just it's just a dream to, nerk, to work with. Um, and I think it's going to be one of those yarns too that wears really, really well. You can see it on our mannequin. It's, it's uh, really holding its shape. Yeah, so this is a pattern by Amy Gunderson. Uh, and this one is in Rowan Magazine 68 yeah. as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I just I love everything about this one. I've I've admired it since I saw the the magazine. So yeah, very excited about that. Again, uh, kits coming with that one. Okay. 
And then uh, let's talk about this scarf. Yes. Here. So this one is done with Moredale. This is called the Fields Wrap and uh, designed by D. Hardwick for Rowan. This is done in Moredale and she's chosen four colors, uh, sort of a purple and a teal palette with a soft gray and um, two, four, uh, five, 12, uh, 17 balls of yarn. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This is quite the piece. Yeah. And these are definitely D Hardwick colors. Yes. Right? Yeah. She's yeah. come up with a whole whole new palette and a range that she personally picked for Rowan. Yeah. So it's very exciting. But look at the grays. You know, you could do something really fun too with um, alternate shades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's like a sweater's worth of yarn in this mm -hmm. scarf, uh, so it'll definitely keep you nice and warm. Um, and you can pick the colors that you want. You could make it a little shorter or a little narrower if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, but look how wide it is. Yeah. That's got to be, you know, close to 18 inches wide mm -hmm. when you... Uh, and hold earlier it you were commenting, Barb, on kind of like the um, the underlying yarn that's in here. Like you can see yes. some of the yarn doesn't take the dye. Uh, yeah, just why don't you show us a section sure. with that in it? So Moredale is a British breed and it reminded Cynthia and I a lot of Ancient Arts Lasco. And in one of these green sections, um, you could kind of see the natural brown of the fleece right here. You can see a bit of a halo here of uh, shades of the actual natural fleece. Sort of a brown undertone. Very yeah. cool. This one's 70% wool, 30% alpaca. Yeah. Right, and it's the British wool, I believe. It is, yeah. yep, yep. Uh, so you get, yeah, in fact, I think it says on the thing here, it says blue faced Lester. Uh, on the side. There's a little picture of a sheep on the side there that... Uh, they yeah. actually have w been watching some videos. They can actually track it right back to the farm, you know, where the the animals come from. So very cool. Yes. If you want to get yourself some real heritage yarn, um, Moredale. We have to do something in Moredale next, Cynthia. I know, yeah. I mean, the, uh, you could do a scarf, you could do a sweater. There's uh, hat patterns. Um, this would make uh, this would make such a warm and lovely cowl around your neck too. Mm -hmm. So again, this is a yarn that is really really soft. It's got lots of bounce to it. Blueface Lester has a nice long staple to it. The alpaca provides it with that softness and that little bit of sheen that's in there. Um, but it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Mm -hmm. It feels so nice. I know I know you all want to do this, which is just to press it up against your face. And I promise that these skeins will go into quarantine. But uh, yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let's take a look at what's yep. under the scarf. Right. What have we got here? Okay, so this is a cute little jacket. Um, it's called Landscape. And this was part of um, the section in Rowan Magazine 68 called City Tweed where they had this really cool photography in downtown London. Right, yes. And this is done in felted tweed. Nine balls in color granite. Uh, and it, You know what, I wouldn't have been able to guess that this was felted tweed. It's really soft, isn't it's it? It's so soft. Yeah. I think it's partially to do with the stitch pattern too. It's a really neat sort of a, almost like a moss stitch. Yeah, it's very cushy. Like it really, yeah. it really makes it, it has some... Um, uh, it just has some squishability to yes. it. Yes. Yeah. I was wearing this piece earlier today yes. and it was really pretty. I just loved the way the stitch pattern showed up yeah. uh, on my shoulders. It looked really cute on you, Barb. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And it, this on me, it was sort of a cropped length. So this sort of hit just below my waist and I loved it. It was really a boxy sweater, but mm -hmm. something I could see just popping on over top of a shirt uh, and heading out. Right. outside. And I really like this trim detail here. You've got this rib stitch along here, which lays yes. flat. It's reversible. It's really nice and tailored, you know, so um, it just lines this uh, garment really nicely. Same, same kind of edging on the, 
uh, on the cuffs. Here you've got yep. a two by two rib, and here you've got a one by one rib. Uh, but just a very does, classic piece. Does the uh, Rowan tag say who the designer was by chance? Oh, let's, let me, I don't have that on my information. Let me just see here. Oh, oh, we strip, we strip our model. Ah, yes. There we go. Let's let's cover her up again. So you can see that this looks great. Oh yeah, this is Martin's story. I was going to say, yeah. yeah, I think that yeah. Martin talks about this uh, picking up and putting this band yeah. on in a and video. Doesn't this piece look as good over your lingerie as it would over, you know, a turtleneck uh, yeah. sweater? I think this is almost like a unisex piece too. I think mm -hmm. it could be worn uh, by either by sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, All right, and then I'm going to pop these down on okay. the back here. This is alpaca classic next. It is. And this too, I believe, is a Martin Story design. This is called Abbotsford. Mm. Or either Martin or Lisa Richardson now, I want, I'm thinking. All right, well, let's, let's see. Let's see who, if Barb knows her designers. This one is, oh, this one's by Vibe Ulrich. Okay. <laughs> and Barb knows nothing. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. V-I-B-E Ulrich. So Vibe Ulrich. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is, uh, we have a few customers who are actually knitting this one. Oh, it only so takes 10 to 12 balls of Alpaca Classic. And this one's shown in the colorway Soft Satin. It's mm. just a really pretty light pink. Yes. Uh, there's like two or three shades that are really close to this too. It's been a very popular shade for uh, Rowan and for knitwear and sweaters this season. So soft. Really pretty sort yeah. of leaf design yeah. too in this, uh, in the lace pattern. And, and again, we've got the same kind of detail around the neckline here. I just love this rib stitch. Um, it, it looks like stockinette from a distance, mm -hmm. but lays flat, solves all of your curling issues, yeah. and makes a really nice trim. Yeah. All the Rowan garments are just beautifully tailored. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. Okay, and now the last piece one. in the show, mm -hmm. this is a uh, Cawdor. It's done in... Um, in, it says seamless, so I almost want to say it's one piece with a split done for the neck. I think you might be right. Look at that. Okay, now this could be also a blanket, you guys. It's uh, 20 balls of felted tweed Aran. And ah. that's right. We don't. We didn't bring in the Aaron yet. We will certainly consider it if anyone wants to make this one. If you need twenty balls, let us know. Barb will get it for you. We'd be happy to bring it in. <laughs> it's gorgeous. This is a beautiful piece. Oh, it's yeah. like a you know like a cape. Like a. Uh, I love it. It's it's long enough in the back that it will cover your backside. You know, so you keep the wind away from your from your back, um, but just flowing like. I know. Look great with a skirt or leggings. You could or dress jeans. it up. Yeah, yep. for sure. And this colorway that they've done it in is so pretty. It's this mm -hmm. late afternoon here in our store, and this one's called Stone. You can see it's kind of like a light green with a blue tweedy flecks throughout. Yeah, that's the thing about Rowan felted tweed. Hey, nobody really does the the tweed effect like Rowan oh, yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. It, oftentimes there's two, three, four colors yeah. of tweed in it. Yeah. And look how these cables pop. Too, yeah. That it's just the perfect yarn if you want to do some cabling. All right. So testing you, Barb. Who's the designer for this one? Oh, Martin Story. I'm thinking. Oh, here's the tag right here. <laughs> Martin Story. Uh, are you yeah. sure? Are you, yeah. Do you need your glasses? Here's, you here's what. <laughs> no, I, I have it really close up to my eyes. <laughs> yeah, this is gorgeous. Yeah. So yeah, this real is a bit classic of piece too. But, you know, you'd yeah. have this you could wear like every single year, couldn't you? Yeah. It'd be one of these pieces you just pull back out. Yeah. It would look really nice over top of a, a jacket, pair of pants, or oh, yeah. like you said, a skirt. Yeah, like we've got it here with, you know, over top of a blouse, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it would look great with a t-shirt or a turtleneck or, yeah. I think you or I should pop it on just to give people a sense of what it looks like on a real body. Yeah, well, let's do that. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Barb, that looks gorgeous on you. Isn't that fun? It's I mean, so what a nice. great piece. Yes. It's really substantial, yeah. too. You know, you can yep. feel it's 20 balls of yarn. It's got some <laughs> weight to it. Yeah. I love it. And we were just, as we were putting it on, you were saying that like, you could wear it kind of like off, off center. Oh, you could right. Make it more triangular. Yes. Yeah. I'm all mic'd up here, but yeah, yeah I'll, um, I'll turn it around and then you can take a photograph of the other side. Yeah, for sure. But here it is. What do you think, you guys? That's really nice. It looks great on you. Thanks. It feels really amazing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And Perfect uh, length, too, you know? Yeah, yeah. On the wrist. And I'm, I'm just going to pop this plume into my... Oh, right, it's yours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone needs to make a plume. <laughs> Honestly, these are just so soft and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us for the Rowan Trunk Show. Yes. We have to send this show on to a, another yarn shop. This is going off to Aberdeen Wools oh, nice. in Ontario. Yeah. So uh, yeah. they get to enjoy it next. Yeah. So all of our friends say farewell for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>